Eric Gray tells friend, colleague, and fellow survivor Robin Miller about Eric's commitment to advocacy and how Eric ended up working in the anti-trafficking movement. What did you hope for when you were a young person? I grew up in a military family, so I really looked up to people in the military for their dedication to something greater than yourself. When I was little, I remember I decorated my room in American flags. <laughs> I had dreamt of being a judge advocate general or an intelligence officer. More than anything, then and now, I wanted to be of service to the people around me. But when I was picking out the red stars to stamp the walls in my room with as a kid, I never thought that red would represent blood or pain or anything like that. What is it that brought you here today? And how did you get started in this work? I was trafficked at 14 years old, and I was in and out of the commercial sex industry for about 10 years. Things really came to a halt when I, at 24 years old, became HIV positive. And I was feeling pretty hopeless. But something came over me that I would want to volunteer at the domestic violence shelter. And that's where I first learned the power of advocacy and how important it was to who I am as a person. And at one point, I was holding this little boy, and the mom was having a hard time. And I said something on the lines of, a piece of your heart also rests in mine, and I see you. Something about that moment just sparks so much more for me. Your love for others is just so big. I don't know if it was like this for you, but I didn't feel worthy when I first got out of the life. I was giving and serving to others because I believed they were worthy, but it took that to find mine. And it makes sense, you know, that feeling of who am I to be here? I think about that young boy and his mom. Those were the words that she needed to hear. And I could provide that, but some piece of me did not feel like I deserved it. But that's why I love this work. You know, it brought me to where I'm at now. And today, I work for the prosecuting attorney's office of King County. And it feels very validating and affirming to be in a position like this one. Well, you're breaking ceilings and opening doors. You're working for a system. And you can bring change. That's amazing. Thank you. I love more than anything seeing my brothers and my sisters come into their thrive and their rise. I'm not the only boy who had dreams that were stolen, but my pain is beautiful because the men who demanded more than my child body and spirit and soul could ever be expected to provide, they did not take that from me. What they did do is they made me aware of the limitless amount of love that I have inside of me. And I know now how much love I have to give and that good things can come from my hands, that love can be felt from me. And that's why I do this work. These Voices of Freedom were recorded and produced by StoryCorps in partnership with the Office on Trafficking in Persons at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. For more information, visit acf.hhs.gov slash OTIP slash voices.